Good morning everyone. You might have a situation that your PC went very slow then you reinstalled the new Windows or might be you put it in the factory settings but still your computer is now behaving well or let's say nothing is functional correctly. So that might reason behind the actual driver because drivers are the piece of software which tells the hardware how to behave right so today in this video i'm going to show you how to install driver correctly okay for example we took hp omen 17.3 inch ck-1000 rtx laptop which comes with rtx rta tti and also it comes with core i7 the latest generation okay so for example uh the my client, he reinstalled the system, but he forgot to update the driver. So while he uses it, he can see the screen is not smooth like before. There is no sound, trackpad is not working properly. And when you get to the device manager, we can see a lot of them. It shows the hazard yellow icon, which tells there is no driver. So now to update the drivers, what I follow for graphics driver, I directly get into nvidia website and try to download the correct driver instead of getting into hp website from the driver support option to download the graphics driver so that's the way i do so first of all i know this one comes with rtx notebook version the 3080 ti so i select the correct generation and it automatically shows me which driver that i need then I click on download and it downloaded the actual driver. And once it downloaded correctly, I just reinstall it. And then that one fixed all the driver issues. As you can see, the screen is blinking and it comes into a little bit bigger, but that should be fine. It's going to be fixed once it downloaded, installed and restarted. Okay, so this is the way I do. Whenever you would like to download the graphics driver, try to get into the manufacturer website rather than getting into the laptop manufacturer so for example this one the driver i downloaded from nvidia because the actual rtx integrated graphics card from nvidia so try to visit the official nvidia website choose the correct module and download it And also when you choose to set it up, try to do the top option, which is recommended. Express recommended settings. Don't try to customize it. This going to give you the full access and complete driver and whatever it needed by default by the manufacturer. So this is the way to install graphics driver. So the rest of the drivers included sound, trackpad and others additional driver is not available from the hardware manufacturer so if you try the hardware manufacturer website the drivers might be not available so in that case i would suggest you go to the laptop manufacturer's driver website and try to download it you can download in that way right click then automatic upgrade if it doesn't take then you have to download it manually so for example I went to HP support driver support website, especially the official one. Don't try from any other third party website because with the driver, they try to put viruses and other malfunctions. Okay. Adwares, malwares and stuff like that. So always strictly visit the official website from the manufacturer for the drivers and HP wrote a brilliant way to identify your product okay so there is a piece of tool if you install it if you run this software then this is going to find out the correct drivers for you as you can see i'm installing this support solution framework from hp and that would take a few minutes to identify which laptop that i'm using And I believe this is the best option to find the current driver. So this HP 
identify device software already found that I'm using 17.3 inch HP Omen laptop. Now I'm going to select the correct operating system that I'm using to get the correct drivers. Now it's going to take a couple of minutes to bring all the available drivers for my laptop. So now as you can see here is the option, all drivers option. If you just click on the plus sign, it's going to expand all the available drivers and you can download it. For example, I need the audio driver, so I click on the plus sign and it expands. Now it shows there are two versions. I'm always going to select the latest one. On the top one, as you can see, this is 13th of April and this one 1st of September 2023. So that's the latest one and I'm going to download it and install it manually. So that would resolve my audio driver issue. And this is the way you need to follow due to get the right drivers and stuff like that. If you do know any better option, please let me know in the comment section. Okay. And here is another thing. So sometimes when you install the latest operating system, uh, it doesn't automatically give us any driver for the uh, wireless network card. And this is a pain because if you don't have internet connection in your laptop, how you can download the drivers because there is no any active internet connection because of your Wi-Fi driver is not there. So in that option is a bit tricky. What you have to do, you need to have another donor laptop which does have internet access and manually you need to select the model number from the official site, download it, put it in the USB, connect this USB into your laptop there where you would like to install the driver and do it manually in that way, especially for the network card. Okay, and once the network card is done, you can follow the same procedure to update the drivers. So there are a couple of things that you need to follow. First of all, try to avoid any third party website, except the laptop manufacturer or the hardware manufacturer. Also, when you update the driver during updates, make sure you don't falsely shut it down or restart your system that might damage the entire laptop and also try to connect your charger while you do that so you don't have any power cut issue thanks for watching i hope i will see you in the next video bye for now